Chef's Hut and Bar Grill. We have found the abandoned Playboy Mansion. Oh shit. We are in New Jersey. We seem to have stumbled upon Hugh Hefner's abandoned Playboy Resort. Take a look at this. What? I mean, guys, it's absolutely huge. I'll keep panning around as well so you can see. We are literally in the mountains. How me and Past Life Explorer just found this, I don't know. That's what these little adventures are all about, right? Taking the turn that you've never taken before and just seeing where that road leads you. And today's road led us to an abandoned Playboy resort. This used to be the main entrance. There's the sign. Whoa, this is so cool, but so creepy at the same time. Look, there's all the balconies and the windows. People would have stayed in there. And there's something up on the roof. I wonder if they had like a rooftop bar. But this is so nice. There's an old camera as well right there. Oh, that's kind of cool. Look at that. It's the really old fire hydrant. And some twisted tea. If only Josh was here. I'm making my way down the side of this huge building. But this is so cool. I can't believe still that we found this. So I'm walking down the back end of the resort now. Look. This is so crazy. Wow. And apparently they are actually turning it into another resort. So uh, they've got a lot of work to do. I'm guessing this is where you would have pulled in to go and check in through the doors. Let's see if we can see through the doors. This is awesome. It's so huge. And we're like right up in the mountains as well. Parking. Look at that. Oh my gosh, okay, look right here. This, this is where you would have gone in. This is your reception right here. Look at the turn doors. <gasps> they actually do turn, but it is blocked off from that way, of course. Let's see if we can just like look through the doors. <laughs> really? <laughs> Wow, look, you can see the fountain right there. Oh my goodness, that's awesome. And then there's another set of turn doors here, right here. So this one says tennis. So I wonder if this was the tennis courts. <laughs> I mean, I'm just guessing. Or someone's just come along and wrote tennis on there for no reason at all. Oh, hello. Hey, this is really creepy. Luckily, Pielli is literally across the road. Oh, yes, yes, yes. oh shit. We're just looking around. got kicked out sorry if the sound is different as well i took my mics off this woman is literally watching us leave i'll try and pop up as much as i can of ple's interaction with that woman i'm not gonna lie she was really rude there was no need to be rude we wasn't breaking in anywhere we were still on public 
halfway because they have a golf course here, which look, I'll show you right now. This is a golf course, okay? People can come up here. Where we was parked and the path that we was walking on is part of the golf. The abandoned resort is literally on these grounds where you can publicly be. She was mighty rude about it. She didn't need to talk to us like that. She was threatening to call the police and everything. Like I said, we were legally on legal stomping grounds. On to the next adventure. She's here, Pielli. You all know who she is. It's Stephanie. Oh, oh, it's the candles. They're personally made by Stephanie's sister. Look how nicely boxed this is. Oh, look. Okay, this is the first one. Oh, no way. Look how cool that is. <laughs> yes, it's with Ruth. And you all know that season. We all know the season with Ruth. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Oh my goodness. She's if only everyone smell. You, you can't smell it, but it smells really nice. Yep. We have arrived. my daughter and her friends up here today to see the old gingerbread castle. As a child, and I'm probably going back probably like a kindergarten, first grade around then, so this would have been the 1960s, this was open to the public and uh, they had a sign here it would say uh, children don't touch the castle it's made out of gingerbread, the roof is made out of icing and it's <laughs> magical and if you touch it it'll turn into stone. And there was a deer pen somewhere outside over here where they uh, gave you carrots to feed the deer with. And inside was, uh, I guess there was little gifts and stuff like that, but all I remember was gingerbread and hot chocolate <laughs> that you'd enjoy, you know what I mean? Kids, come back! I don't want to be arrested! <laughs> This is the original um, old King Cole. Oh, yeah. Nursery Oh, King Cole was old a merry King old soul. Yeah, 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 yeah. That might be English, I don't know. So this is like, was uh, from 1920. Can I give you permission to film me? <laughs> I'm paparazzi. Oh, be careful. You are like me. Don't you have something else to do? Like, go follow Taylor Swift or something? No. I see, so you wear the mask as you do it? I do. So when are you going to put the mask on? So above, there was a dome which was stolen, unfortunately, but they would throw coins down. Wow. And this originally was the um, iron forged uh, from the Revolutionary War. The English used it to make cannonballs. This was actually the, the enemies, the English, were here. Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. <laughs> so then, then obviously they were discovered and they were kicked out and then the Americans took it over and used it as their forge. Wow. And then it was abandoned, and then it became like a grain mill instead of making iron. In the 20s, the guy got the idea to build the castle on top of it. So this is the original. This is from like 1790 or something like that. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. You can see the bricks were all melted. This is so cool. And that's actually the original paint. That's Joseph Urban Blue, which is a paint color. It was named after Joseph Urban, the guy that designed the castle. Oh. Oh, were they wow. original stained glass windows? Uh, yeah, I'm restoring them. Uh, I put them in a frame. I'm going to put them back out. This is amazing. <laughs> I started putting back, restoring some of the windows that were missing. This is what it looked like. Oh, wow. Hearts. <gasps> they are so beautiful. Yeah, that's imported uh, German glass. The original, we was able to find the guy that has some old stock. Because, uh, the European glass, the old stuff is different yeah. than the new glass, which you basically get out of China these days.
You came all the way from England just to see the castle? I did indeed. No, you no, didn't. This, really? No, this, <laughs> no. Wow. Or I think you're going to say to see me. I mean, either one is good. Well, of course. This place has always astonished me. Oh, yeah. Well, it's interesting, that's for sure. It's, uh, now we're on top of what was the old iron forge. So oh, well, yes. This would have been flat originally, so they put these slates down and then built all this on top. This, so this is 1928 on top here. <gasps> This is so pretty. This was added in the mid 50s. The stucco originally, it was more of a stone look and then it had fake cookies oh, carved out of cork. Yeah. In the, and then they would tell the story to the kids if you can get one off, before you get it, get it off the wall, it turns to stone. So, you know, yeah. obviously it would never, never be a real cookie because as soon as you touch it, it's fake. This is all cork. Yeah. The stone is not actually real. That's Crazy. Because the guy, Joseph Urban, was a set designer so in the city. So everything that they did was, you know, had to be quick and light and fake and realistic looking. So. And oh then they gosh. took a sledgehammer to this. I'm, I'm, I have a guy who's going to put this back, but they tried to take the railings out. A bunch of the statues reproduced. I had a guy, he's an artist from Ecuador, he came and he painted them for me. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm a pretty good artist. He used to well, that's probably why you believed I come all the way from England. Just yeah, because you're here to help me paint. <laughs> oh yes, that's what I was here for. <laughs> we just need a garden. Right. We plop them in and right. that's it. <laughs> exactly. They are so nice. There's a cauldron here too. You found one too? Yeah. Oh, you come out here and it can actually go down. Seriously, it goes well. What? Oh, this is so cool. Look, look, look. Okay, I'm looking. He's telling me to look outside. Oh, wow, yeah. We've got the stairs that goes down. I, ca I don't want to drop you. <laughs> I can't get it. Guys. Right, there it is. The stairs goes down there. Um, Again, this is why we always hit the link down in the description and we go on over to Past Life Explorer's channel and we watch his version of wherever it is <coughs> that I'm filming at. Y you know you're going to see better quality stuff over there. Um, this is just the uh, very unexplainable channel. Did you know that the stone on the top would be called the Keystone, and that's what Pennsylvania is known for. Because no. the top one would hold the rest of the arch. It's called the Keystone. Because it's the key uh -huh. to holding everything. Right. The Keystone State, yep. Yeah. Light bulb. Wow. Hello, Keystone. Ooh, my mum would love this. Is it me? What do these look like? Fruit Loops? Yeah, <laughs> right? Why is there an upside down cross? Oh yeah, and that's the original glass, yeah. Someone damaged that one. Can you imagine how colourful and vibrant it was in here at one point? Um, 